First, the potential is discovered and nurtured. Then comes the passion of performance, spurring the pride of the individual and ultimately that of a nation. And such is the story and history of Qatar and its people whose ambition is boundless and whose enthusiasm in embracing what is to come is as exciting as it is infinite. Qatar, over the past 15 years, has witnessed breathtaking expansion and development and has quickly fashioned itself as a world-class state with its glimmering showcase capital, Doha, the scene of a feverish bustle of business, economic, educational, political, sport, and social activity. This golden era has been marked by various remarkable milestones. The most far-reaching of which was the discovery of the North Field, the world's largest non-associated gas field with a capacity of 900 trillion cubic feet of proven reserves. With this, Ras Lepan Industrial City quickly sprouted out of these arid desert sands, a city that would welcome, foster and cater to those who would strive to bring this treasure to the surface. A city that would be like no other. Ras Lafan Industrial City, the pride of a nation. Ras Lafan Industrial City, which is managed and administered by Qatar Petroleum, is one of the world's fastest growing industrial locations and is situated strategically on the international maritime shipping lanes halfway between the markets of East and West. A master plan for the next 20 years showcases the strategy that would turn the city complex, which has a current area of almost 300 square kilometers, into the single largest facility and most comprehensive gas processing area in the world. The plan also takes into account future industries, as well as the required infrastructure and other ancillary facilities, such as the marine terminals and dry docks needed to meet the requirements of the various industries there, such as Qatar Gas and Ross Gas, two of the world's leading suppliers of liquefied natural gas with a combined projected total production of 77 million tons per year. Qatar is the gas-to-liquid capital of the world. Prominent here are Oryx GTL and Pearl GTL. Processing plants include al Khalij Gas, Dolphin Energy and Barzan, three power plants, the Ross Lafon Power Company, Q Power, and the Ross Gertas Power Company the Lafon Condensate Refinery, the Ross Lafon Olefins Company, as well as Ross Lafon Helium and the Polysilicon Project. Furthermore, the Common Cooling Water Project has an optimum distribution capacity of over one million cubic meters of water per hour for cooling all the industries located there. Ross Lafon Port, with six LNG berths, four of which are capable of receiving the ultra-large Qflex and Qmax LNG carriers, stands alone as the world's largest LNG export facility. The port also operates eight liquid product berths which have been designed and built for the export of liquid petroleum gas, pie gas, condensate, products from the gas to liquid GTL projects, such as diesel, naphtha, paraffin, and lubes and refinery products such as kerosene and gas oil. The sulfur export facility has undergone a major upgrade to cope with the increased production of this byproduct. Also located in the 56 square kilometer port area are general cargo berths which include two row row berths, container berths, offshore support vessel, two dry docks, and major ship repair facilities capable of handling some of the largest ships in the world. Located 30 miles to the east of and under the control of Ross Lafon Port are two single point moorings, 
which are specifically for the export of field condensate. Ross Lafon promotes the issue of a healthy bounce ecosystem by introducing ambitious health and life safety programs, emergency management systems, and environmental protection and conservation projects and initiatives such as ambient air quality monitoring, common volatile organic compound control, mangrove conservation, marine environment compliance and monitoring, coral reef cultivation, restoration of seagrass communities in RLC coastal areas, turtle monitoring, and bird habitat conservation. Indeed, RLC diligently implements internationally approved systems and procedures designed to enhance the protection, preservation, and propagation of the region's flora and fauna. Safety, health, protection of the environment, and management of risk assessment all form an integral part of planning and decision making. Ross Lafon Industrial City's HSE team consistently endeavors to achieve and maintain optimum levels in health, safety, and environmental performance in compliance with international safety standards. Therefore, to ensure that all resources associated with the city's activities are protected, maintained, and sustained, an emergency response team coordinates safety and security using specialized units in firefighting and rescue supported by five fire stations and two superbly equipped medical centers dealing with both emergency and non-emergency cases, primary care and occupational health. The Ross Lafon Emergency and Safety College will be one of the leading and unique educational institutions in the region, offering courses in firefighting, safety, and emergency response. RLC's strategy has also included various initiatives aimed at improving the quality of life, educational facilities and employment opportunities, as well as encouraging the economic well-being and growth of the surrounding districts. Qatar, along with its Ras Lafal industrial city, has gone through a process of profound transformation, with its people looking to a complex and dynamic future, both demanding and rewarding, both challenging and gratifying. And under the visionary leadership of the country's Amir, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Ras Lafon Industrial City will continue to play a major role in diversification, opportunity, and incentive. Ras Lafon Industrial City, the pride of a nation.